Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Samsung WW90T634DLH washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washing machine, some of the features and benefits that it offers. But just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick subscribe, thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. There's normally a bit of tech in there and I do specialise in cordless vacuums as well. So despite it looking pretty simple on the front here, there's actually quite a lot to talk about on this machine. Now, as far as the spin speed, this has a maximum spin speed of up to 1400 spin. Now, I'd normally say that's more than enough. Uh, I think some manufacturers are going into the realms of 1600, uh, but personally, I think 1400 is a good compromise between getting a really good spin and extracting as much water out as you can. Uh, and also it doesn't put too much pressure on the bearings, which sometimes you can get with a much higher spin speed. As far as the load size on this, this is a nine kilogram machine. So again, if you have got quite a big family, if you're doing a lot of washes, then nine kilograms is normally more than enough. As far as the dimensions on this, uh, you will find that with any uh, large capacity machine, like nine kilograms and above, then some of the depths on the, the machines can be an issue sometimes. Uh, but as far as the dimensions on here, things like the width will be pretty standard. So that's at 60 centimeters or 23 and a half inches wide. And as far as the height on this, it's 85 centimeters or 33 and a half inches. So the width and the height are pretty standard. As far as the depth, uh, this can be an issue sometimes for some people. If you're just going to the front here, you're looking at 56 centimeters or 22 inches deep. Uh, if you were including the door as well, then clearly it's going to be a little bit deeper, so you're looking at 61 centimetres or about 24 inches, so not too bad. But I'd always recommend just have a quick measure up, because there's nothing worse than ordering the machine, come to have it installed, and then you find that it doesn't fit. There is a lot of technology built into this machine. Uh, you'll see on the right hand side here, you've got something called Smart Things. This is basically an app that you download to your phone or tablet. Uh, it is something I'd recommend doing. Uh, even if you think you're not going to use it a huge amount. I've had customers before where they've almost ignored the idea of downloading the app on your smartphone or tablet to start with and then realise how useful it can be. Uh, but what you can do, apart from downloading things like programs, uh, you can start the machine uh, when you're not there. Also you've got things like Google Assistant and Alexa built in so you can actually talk to it. So th there's a huge amount you can do uh, and the advantage is, once Samsung update the app, then that it can enable extra features on the washing machine. So I'll show you the machine itself. So to turn it on, all you do is you press that button there to the left of the programmer. It'll sing you a little song. Uh, clearly this is a brand new machine, so I've not, um, it's not connected at all. So what it will do is it will take us through um, just some recommendations. Uh, first of all, you can calibrate the machine, uh, but I don't want to do that until it's fully installed. Uh, what you can do is you can explore the washing machine if you want to. Um, it can take it through different programs uh, and just see what additional functions you've got. Uh, but all I want to do is I just want to quickly take you through some of the, the program options on here. Um, this, I, I must admit, I was, I was almost speechless when I saw this display. Um, I think it's a really, really nice clear LED display. Uh, I'd say it's one of, if not probably the best on the market at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of other brands that we deal with. Uh, I must say I'm, I'm not quite sure there is, there is uh, smart locking as this. So first of all, on the right hand side here, this is where you can select the spin speed for the wash. Uh, now, first of all, as, as I mentioned earlier, this is a maximum spin speed of up to 1400. Uh, but if you press that button underneath, then it does enable you to have the, uh, the rinse hold, drain no spin, uh, you can change it from 400, 800, 1000, 1200, and then 1400. What I do really like is, I don't know if you heard that, uh, clearly it's, as I've pressed that, this uh, brought up a little note for each, each spin speed. So each time you press the button, it increases the note. I like that. Uh, also, you've got the number of rinses for each wash. Uh, if you've got somebody in the household that suffers with things like skin allergies, uh, then you've got the option here to increase the number of rinses within the wash. So clearly it goes up to five, uh, and then you can just get rid of it at the end. So that's the one rinse, and then it normally defaults to two. Uh, you will find on the left hand side here that it will actually, first of all, show you the program it's on, 
but also you've got the time duration of the program. Uh, this will adjust itself, so what you will find is that as the program progresses, then it will actually adjust the time. Also, if you only put a small load in, then it will detect the load in the machine, so it will actually increase or decrease the time accordingly. Uh, also, as it gets towards the end of the wash, if it detects that you've still got extra foam or suds in there, then it will actually add an extra rinse on at the end as well, which can increase the time. Uh, but as you can see here, this is the Eco 40 to 60 program. This is a standard program pretty much on every washing machine now. Uh, and you will notice that just here, you can't select the temperature. So this is normally where you'd select the temperature for the wash. Uh, but Eco 40 to 60 is a standard, it's normally around at 40 degrees, uh, but this program is designed for clothes to be washed between 40 and 60 degrees. Uh, it's a very energy efficient program, uh, and also with this one, you can wash the full maximum 9 kilograms for this program. Now, there are a lot of programs to go through. Um, I'm not going to cover all of them, uh, you, we'd, uh, we'd be here all day, but I'll just give you a quick overview as to some of the functions it's got. Uh, I did mention about the temperature, uh, clearly with the, the cotton program, again you've got the maximum 9 kilograms capacity on here, uh, but, and you can go up the, to the full 90 degrees, uh, like the boil wash as some people call it, uh, but you've got the, this is just the cold water, uh, and then you've got 20 and 30 degrees which a lot more people are using now, a lot of people are washing at lower temperatures, uh, and you normally find that uh, clearly as you go through if you go to the higher temperatures then it can increase the wash time as well so just keep an eye out for that uh, as I say there's there's a, a huge number of programs you've got things like 15 minute quick wash uh, that can be really good if you uh, if you need to wash something really quickly um, not necessarily a full wash uh, but it's a maximum of two kilograms uh, you have got three rinses on there so that's pretty good but it is only spinning at the 800 uh, but you can Oh, we can increase that to 1200 if you want to, uh, but it does increase the wash time a little bit to 18 minutes. Uh, what have we got here? So this will be, uh, so again, it's about half a load. So, well, it's maximum five kilograms, but that's doing a, a super speed program. Now, some of these quick programs are tempting to use. Uh, I know families are busy now. You want to, you know, try and get everything done as quickly as you can. Uh, but all I'd say is don't be tempted by some of these quick programs all the time. Uh, even hopefully, hopefully engineers will back me up on this by saying that if you keep on using these quick programs, then overall it doesn't tend to keep the machine clean. Um, also what you'll find is that the performance of the wash won't be as good as on some of the, the longer programs like the Cotton and the Eco 40-60 program. So if you have got time, try and use some of the longer programs if you can. Uh, as I say, there's, there's a huge number of programs. So we've got Synthetics, Delicates, uh, the Tell program, uh, Bedding. Some of these programs are really good. Um, I know that some people think, well, why do I want a special bedding program? I'm just going to chuck it in with everything else. Um, what you'll find on some of these bedding programs, um, what they will do is it will, apart from washing differently, uh, it will actually spin very differently as well because a lot of people nowadays tend to underload their washing machine. They will tend to put, say, one item in, like a bath mat, um, or even uh, things like a bed sheet or a duvet cover. And what all, pretty much all washing machines struggle to do is to spin at the end of the wash. Uh, so, this is why uh, a lot of brands put these specialised programmes on, like bedding, because it will uh, try and redistribute the load towards the end of the program in a different way to say the, the standard cotton programs or the Eco 40 to 60 programs. Um, again, things like shirts, these are really good. Uh, again, you, it's just a small load, so maximum two kilogram load. But again, it has a lower agitation spin at the end of the program. So hopefully when you, when you open it up, everything is increased and just uh, placed at the bottom in one big heap. Uh, hopefully it's distributed quite nicely. And what that will do is that just enables you to take them out and clearly a lot of them will need an iron, uh, but it can reduce the amount of creasing that you've got on there. So just quickly zip through some of these programs. Uh, we've got the hygiene steam, uh, so that helps to sanitize some of the clothes as well. 
things like woolen programs are pretty standard and clearly with some of these other options then you don't you won't have the option to go above 800 uh, if you're washing your woolens then clearly you're not going to want to spin very quickly uh, outdoor so that's for what and again things like active wear uh, you've got on a lot of machines now you've got things like sports programs uh, so if you're washing things like the kids football or rugby kits then you might want uh, pretty pretty strong programs like these uh, you've got denim baby care uh, silent wash so this is normally a really good one uh, if you use things like economy 7 where you've got cheap electricity during the night then you can find that things like this are really good especially if you're in say a, an open plan flatter apartment or if the washing machine is quite near um, so to where your bedroom is then you might want to use things like this this is the silent washer it just reduces the final spin um, and overall it will be a, a quieter wash and then we've got the cloudy day program so that's got something called a powerful spin uh, that can be good so if you can't hang, hang this out on the line uh, if you were either drying clothes inside or using a tumble dryer then that's just a, a bit more of a powerful spin speed uh, rinse and spin so you've just got the rinse and drain and spin uh, drum clean is a good option uh, this is quite a standard program on a lot of higher end machines like this nowadays uh, and that's really recommended not to put any clothes in so just do this probably once a month or once every couple of months but it does really depend on the uh, type of washes you're doing if you're washing at say 20 or 30 degrees a lot then I'd recommend using this program quite often if you are washing at 40 or 60 degrees or even 90 quite often then I'd recommend that you don't need to do this program quite as often and then we're back to the beginning uh, you will find that on a lot of the programs uh, Samsung use something called eco bubble technology uh, and basically what this will do is this combines the air water and detergent and it helps to penetrate the clothes uh, during the the early stages of the wash and what it enables you to do is to actually wash at much lower temperatures uh, so the eco bubble it's, it's I think it's a really good idea it's something that Samsung have had for a while on the left hand side here clearly this is the soap drawer now normally what happens is you just put the liquid or detergents or powder in here uh, but within this machine, this uses something called auto-dose. Uh, now, auto-dosing technology isn't new. Uh, it has been around in, uh, well, in, especially in the UK market for quite a few years now. Um, but it's something that I personally think a lot of people don't really get. They, they don't really understand it or understand the benefit of it. Um, when you're using things like liquid, uh, detergent or powder, uh, a lot of people will put too much in, full stop. Uh, you put a full load in, especially if it's quite a dirty wash. Uh, if you're doing things like the kids' football rugby kits, um, then you, you think, okay, well, I'm just going to pour a little bit more in there. Uh, that's really going to help the wash. And if anything, it doesn't, uh, because modern washing machines don't use a lot of water. Uh, they use a lot less than, say, they did eight, ten years ago. Uh, but people are still using the same amount of detergent. Uh, so what, what Samsung have done is on this machine they've come up with the auto dosing technology and all you do is you put the softener in this side and then you put the liquid in detergent in this side, in the right hand side so you just twist that, pour it in what the machine will do is towards the beginning of the program it will detect the load that's in there so apart from knowing the amount of water that's required it will just take in the amount of detergent and the softener as well so this is absolutely brilliant uh, because you can find that over the year, a couple of years, five years, that the amount of detergent that's saved can be a huge amount. Uh, you have also got the option to manually dose if you want to, and then to take the drawer out, just press the blue button there, and then you can take it out to clean it, because that's something that a lot of people want to do. So as you can see on here, it has got a huge door on the front. Uh, you will find that the, the door doesn't open quite 180 degrees, uh, it's a shame it doesn't go back a, a little bit further, uh, but never mind. Uh, as far as the pothole in this, it's 30 centimeters, so it's a pretty big hole to get the clothes in and out of, which is something I always try and say about on large capacity machines. Uh, there are some in the market that are nine, 10 kilograms, but have only got a really tiny pothole, which is quite frustrating. Uh, there are some machines on the market. There is a sister model that has something called AdWash. Uh, clearly this doesn't have it. 
Uh, with AdWash, the whole concept of it is that you've got a little flap or a little door on the front, so that part way through the wash, if you've forgotten to put, say, a couple of socks in there that you want to go in the wash, then you just uh, press the button, uh, it will open the door, pop the couple of socks in, and then that enables you to add them to the wash, clearly as it says, add wash. Um, personally, I'm not, I suppose, a huge fan of it. Uh, I think it's, um, it's a feature that uh, we have had on some of the machines in the past. Uh, some people haven't really used it. Uh, I do find that there's quite a limited time that you can put the clothes in. Uh, you won't want to put them in halfway through the wash because it's already been through the washing process and you're adding them too late in the program. Uh, but that's, that feature is available on one of the sister models. I'll just show the energy label for this machine. Uh, as you can see, it's an A performance, uh, which is at the moment is as good as it gets. Uh, a lot of the energy labels were repositioned, uh, so a lot of the uh, products were downgraded, but clearly Samsung have done a really good job in maintaining an A performance for this. Uh, there's quite a lot down at the bottom here, so it's showing you that uh, for the Eco 40 to 60, the duration of the program will be about 3 hours 48. Uh, but I have showed you on there, there's a lot of quicker washes if you needed to. 50 litres of water, so again, very energy efficient on the, the water consumption. Uh, and then things like 72 decibels, which is an A rating for the spin. So if you are concerned about how noisy the machine is, then just have a look at that. That's something I always try and recommend. Uh, just have a look to see what other machines are, because uh, hopefully you'll find that 72 decibels is actually pretty good on the final spin. I'll just quickly show you around the back of the machine. If you aren't going to install it yourself, then it might help just to see around the back of the appliance. Uh, first of all, you've got the waste outlet just on the left hand side here. Uh, you've also got the water inlet and you do get a new hose with the machine. Uh, we normally recommend to try and use the new hose with it. Uh, so that's just there. And also you've got the plug. So you've got the electric connection just on the right hand side here. Uh, also you have got these, these are called transit bolts. Now these are imperative to take out. It is something that you have to do it. There's no question about it. If you don't take them out, then there is a very, very good chance that it will damage the machine and it won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. As far as the warranty on this machine, it can vary, but at this time of recording, it has got a five year parts and labor warranty. Uh, also, you will notice on the side here, you have got a 10 year warranty on the motor, uh, but that's just on the motor itself. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Samsung WW90T634DLH washing machine. Honestly, these model numbers are getting worse. I'm quite surprised I remember them. Uh, but as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful, learnt a little bit about it. Uh, if you have got any questions on it, then just pop it in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. But all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the video. If you didn't enjoy it, or if you did enjoy it, then let me know, be honest about it. Also, if you have got one of these machines or a similar Samsung washing machine like this, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.